Legendary former Notre Dame women's basketball coach, that's Muffet McGraw, is taking a stand against the disparities between men and women's sports. She says this generation of female athletes expects more and, quote, we won't stop until we get it. McGraw spent 33 years coaching Notre Dame, Notre Dame, leading them to two national championships and nine Final Four appearances. You go. Muffet McGraw joins us this morning to discuss. Good to see you, Coach McGraw. I have to say the blatant disrespect shown to the women was just jaw-dropping to me. And thank you to Sedona Prince for pointing it out to all of us. But I've heard you say you weren't surprised. I looked at that video and I thought, who is in the room making these decisions? Why weren't you surprised? Oh. I think we've been fighting this battle for years and years, probably decades. I think that similar to what most women across the country, whatever field you're in, has gone through, and that is we're treated with uh, the kind of feeling that we're just not enough, that we're somehow less than, and they think it's okay. And that is probably the biggest problem, that they think it's okay. Yeah, you, you, in your statement, your statement's great, by the way, you said it's like women are treated like the JV team to the men's to the men's team, and that is not okay. <laughs> That's exactly right. And if you look at the games, just turn on the games, you'll see the women's court. We're all playing on college campuses, but the men have been provided with a brand new NCAA court with March Madness, the huge logo in the middle, where on the women's court, you're going to still see two lines for the men's line and the women's line for three-point shots. There's a volleyball court on one of the courts. The, con the conference logo or the college logo is still on the court. It doesn't even look like an NCAA game. Yeah. So, Coach McGraw, you, you say you've been make, fighting this fight for decades now, and yet we're still having these issues. So what would you say needs to happen right now to make sure the next March Madness gets off to a better start? Well, we've never had a woman leading the NCAA. Maybe that's a good place to start. But honestly, I think that one of the things we can do right away is to call the tournaments the men's basketball tournament and the women's basketball tournament. When you turn on the TV and you look at the guide, it just says NCAA basketball tournament. And of course, that just means men's. The NCAA runs two social media accounts, one called March Madness, one called the Final Four. And of course, they're both men's. They don't state that. And I think that would be a start to say men's basketball and women's basketball. Coach, I, I was struck by the statistic that um, among, f among the Power Five, the 65 schools in the Power Five conferences, that of the, 60, of the athletic directors, there are only four women. And do we need more women in the room making decisions here? I'm glad that you were shocked by that. I think that that is so important that we hire more women. And I think that's the trend nationally right now. I think people are looking, corporations are looking to promote and hire more women so that we have a more diverse workforce. And that is something I think we need in athletics. It has been a male-dominated institution for so long. And I think it's time that we evened out the score. We have many women playing. Title IX has been a great thing. We went from 200,000 women to 2 million women playing sports. And now we need to have that reflected in the upper levels. But Coach the number of women coaching women's basketball teams is actually declining and significantly. Why is that happening? You know, I think there's a lot of reasons for that. I think work-life balance, as in most professions across the country, that is an issue, especially now during the pandemic when women are taking the brunt of it. You're trying to coach. It's not something you can do virtually. You're there in person. And if you have a family at home, you're torn between what you can do with trying to get them homeschooled and work on what they have to do. So I think it's important that we make rules and legislate rules in our game that allow women to do that. But I think right now it's mostly opportunity. I don't think the ADs are hiring enough women and I think it's because most of the ADs are men as you said and they hire people who look like them I would like to know what you thought coach when you looked at that video did you call anybody and are you optimistic that things will change <laughs> What do you think? You know, I, I, I just thought, it, again, it's the same thing. I'm just so tired of it. I yeah. think that is my biggest issue. I've been fighting this for so long. But I'm just so happy with this generation because they're looking yes. at this and saying, that is not going to happen with this group. Right. And I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they really are like, enough, we will not accept that. And they're not. Yeah. Look how quickly it changed over the weekend. It changed. And perhaps NCAA President Muffet McGraw. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Tony. <laughs> Muffet McGraw. Muffet McGraw. What's the name on your birth certificate? I'm just curious. I, I don't recall. I'm, I'm not at that age where I have a short-term memory. <laughs> That's a good note, Dad. Fair enough. Very good answer. Very Coach good McGraw, answer. thank you very much. Muffet we appreciate McGraw it. McGraw it is. All right.